Hello and uh, welcome to the video. My name is Lex and today is all about Growlithe. Okay, maybe not all about Growlithe. I'll talk about other things, but Growlithe Day. I just really enjoy drawing Pokemon, not because they're easy. They actually aren't, especially if you're trying to take a realistic approach and shade them all. They're not necessarily easy, but they are simple. You kind of know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you're drawing them, so it's nice. But I did change a few things about him. Other than that, not much. And look how happy he is. Look at that grin. What a happy boy. And if you have not seen my other videos, that's okay. But if you have, you might notice that my microphone quality is a lot better now. Because my microphone came. I am so happy. Um, because hopefully I can start making better videos now. <laughs> At least better quality ones. And I hope you enjoyed a lot more. I sure know I will. Because when you're, you know, you're editing and stuff and you hear your own voice and it sounds like it's coming from, like, a megaphone or an intercom at a really crappy high school, you know, you know, gets kind of annoying. So hopefully I'm better now. I think I am. Or it is. So, yeah. He is kind of a chonky boy. Like, he's very top-heavy. Do you notice that? He's very top heavy, and then the rest of him levels out to be a normal dog. Canine look. Hmm. Interesting. He also has a really wacky tail. If that was in real life, what shape would that be? Like, what shape would that tail be? I have no idea. Is it like a Shiba kind of look? The Shiba Inu? No idea, but all I know is looks good on Growlithe. So that's all that matters, right? While I was drawing him, I was actually having a lot of trouble with shading. What? I love shading, so how is this possible? Um, in my rocket video, I literally fangirled about shading for probably about two minutes. But, yeah, shading, right? Um, yeah, I had a hard time with him, and the reason for that is maybe other artists have this problem too. And if you do, it makes me feel better to know that I'm not the only one. But uh, yeah, sometimes, some days I just have a really heavy hand and I can't control how much weight I'm putting down. And so uh, it takes me a really long time to shade just because like I'm pushing so hard it doesn't look like shading. It comes out almost looking like a full blown base color. And that is not okay, especially when you're drawing fur and this boy is a fluffy boy and <laughs> on his tail and neck ruffs and this weird little mohawk mane. But, yeah, so, heavy hand. It must be something like, you know when you're driving, and you're on a mission. But you're on a safe mission, but somehow that mission ends up making you into a speed demon. And you're moving. Um, yeah, and you're moving really fast, and you don't want to, but it just ends up happening. Because you have a heavy foot. That's what they call it, having a heavy foot. You're going places, right? Not that you want to be going that fast, speed demon, but it happens. It's kind of the same way with art, at least for me. Heavy hand, same thing as a heavy foot. And there is no stopping it. So he took me a lot longer than normal. He probably took me around two hours, which is a lot of time, especially for a simple Pokemon sketch like him. But, oh well, I got through him. That is all that matters. I want a dog so bad. I only say that because, you know, he's a canine Pokemon. And, gosh, I grew up with some dogs here and there, here and there. We had a Dachshund when I was really little, and then we had a long-haired German Shepherd, and all of my friends have dogs. Almost all of them. And so, you know, I'm always walking dogs. I, I used to pet sit a lot for people. But, oddly enough, all of the best behaved dogs that have ever worked with have all been pit bulls. Pit bulls of all the, all the breeds. And I know they have a terrible rap, but you know what? They've all been really well behaved for me. And the worst dogs that I've worked with have been labs. 
labs of all animals or <laughs> of all dogs. And I'm not sure why, because labs are literally, literally bred to follow commands. They're bred to follow commands, like you say. Well, you know, they're retrievers, so they're swimmers. And initially they were made for swimming, re retrieving nets and stuff. But yeah, my friend has a lab. She is a great dog. I love her to pieces, but um, <laughs> not very smart. But one year she decided she wanted to go for a swim, which most labs love water. If you have a lab and you haven't taken them swimming yet, that poor dog <laughs> is missing out. But um, they naturally love water. That's what they're bred to do. That's why their tails are really strong, because they literally use them like a rudder while they're swimming in the water. <laughs> but yeah, so we took her to the cabin, which is not abnormal. And she decided she wanted to go for a swim, except she's not very smart. And so she started swimming and she didn't stop because she does this thing where she chases the water and tries to eat it. Pretty cute. Um, but yeah, my butt had to hop into a kayak. She was in the middle of the lake by the time that uh, we decided she probably wasn't gonna come back anytime soon. Um, so my butt jumped into a kayak and I started kayaking out there to rescue the dog. The dog who is supposed to be an excellent swimmer and she is an excellent swim swimmer, but if you throw any swimmer out there for long enough, they're gonna get tired, especially an old dog. And uh, she was drowning pretty much by that point. She was out of breath, she was tired, and she tried to jump into the kayak, almost capsizing the kayak, and I wasn't about that life. Wasn't happy about that, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do to save your pooch, right? So, I went out there and helped the dog. And I felt better afterwards. And she was tired and took a nap. Because in dog world, that's how you fix everything. Just take a nap. I do like labs, by the way. I have nothing against labs. They do try to eat everything. Um, but I have nothing against them as a breed. Personally, I love pit bulls. I do, just because I've had so many good experiences with them. I know they have a bad rap. I know. But I still love them. And then Rottweilers are cool dogs, too. And there's absolutely 100% nothing wrong with mutts. They technically are genetically superior. Technically. They're just, uh, better off. Oh, and while I was drawing the sky, or at least making the rough sketch for the sky, he is drawn, like, in his original character model with only two claws. He only has two claws. Like, what is the point of that? <laughs> He isn't a sloth, for crying out loud. Um, but yeah, he has two claws, and while I did originally try to draw him with two claws, I didn't like it. I didn't like the feel of it, it kind of came out looking weird, especially when you're trying to draw, like, a normal paw, which his character model doesn't have. And, uh, so I changed it a bit, and I gave him three claws, and I just realized while watching this that I forgot to give him a claw on his back left foot. Sometimes it happens, you know, when you're a writer, when you write a paper for school, right? And you're like, this is the best paper ever. It's the best paper ever. And uh, you go back and revise it a day la later because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Mm. And it's not the best paper ever anymore. In fact, it's a pretty crappy paper. It's happened to all of us. Definitely has happened to me. Um, but yeah, artists have to do the same thing with their drawings. I forgot a claw, and now I just realized I have to go back and fix that, and that is A-OK. -okay. But uh, yes, he is a fire type, so he gets flames, because flames are amazing and they are so fun to draw, a lot like fur. Rocket video mentions that too. Um, and I tried a different thing. I used a different brush that I'd never used before to make embers. I love embers, they're so pretty. And I will continue to use it, because I really like the effect. Try to give him a tattoo. Didn't like the look of it one bit, so, uh, scrapped that in the end, because it looked a little derpy. Little derpy. He's a cute boy, though. Chubby boy doesn't deserve a derpy tattoo. And as this video comes to an end, I would like to thank you very, very much for watching. You've made it to the end, so congratulations. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. There will be plenty more on the way because I absolutely adore making these. 
And uh, thanks. See you. Bye.